Hi. Look who's doing some DIY today. It is me. I've taken a little break from the DIYs after DIY December because I calculated it and I did enough DIYs in less than a month than I would normally do in an entire year. <laughs> so I had to take a little break, but I'm back and I'm really excited about it. This is actually the first video in a new series that I'm doing. It's like my DIY craft series called Chatty Crafty. That's a play off of Chatty Cathy if you didn't catch that. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna be chatting and I'm gonna be crafting. You put those two together, what do you get? Chatty Crafty. The first thing that I'm gonna be making is something that I've really wanted to make just for myself. So this is something that I'm gonna be putting up on my fridge and using immediately. I'm a person that finds inspiration literally everywhere, but I also find it really hard sometimes to stay motivated and focused. And what I've realized recently is that making and kind of having an area that I can go to that's inspiring for me is really helpful. So I wanted to make my own motivational slash inspirational board because what I've been doing up to this point is basically sticking post-its on my refrigerator and that is not working out so well because the post-its are falling off. So gotta change it up. All right, my friends, let's do this. So I'm using a cork board today. I just bought this off of Amazon. It's actually pretty small as far as an inspiration board goes. It's 12 by 12. This is really gonna help me switch things out and keep it fresh and updated and I'm not gonna feel overwhelmed by the size. Here's what I'm using to make my board. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually point out my pants because they're pretty awesome. I was actually wearing white pants earlier, but I just didn't wanna get them dirty. So I put on my cheetah pajama pants, courtesy of my mom. Step two, I'm gonna paint my board. I'm going to paint mine half white. Oh, it's kind of like me. I'm gonna paint my board on a diagonal. So half of it is painted and then the other half is just the rock work. I just have some good old white paint here. Martha Stewart, she never does me wrong. I have some masking tape here that I'm gonna use to section off my board so that way I can get a fairly clean line. And I'm gonna paint this side of my cork board. You'll notice that when you paint cork, it doesn't look super smooth in all the places and there might be some little holes that kind of pop through and that's totally okay. I don't know if this is going to be a totally clean line, but we're about to find out. So far so good. Oh my gosh. It's always amazing when things work out the way you want them to. I'm very pleased right now. Can you tell by the smile that I can't erase off of my face? So I am going to flip my board over now. And since this is going on my fridge, I'm gonna be putting magnets on the back. Now, if your fridge isn't magnetic, it's a super easy fix. You can use um, the clear little command hooks that are super easy to put up. They don't leave a mark behind on the surface. And you can just tie a little string to your board and then hang it on your fridge. The magnets that I have are really small, but they're really strong. So I'm just going to put little blobs of hot glue on the corner of my board and then stick the magnets on and wait for the glue to dry. So pretty much every day I write my to-do list on this adorable Pushy notepad that I got as a gift. Now I know this cat's name is technically and officially Pusheen, but I have my own naming system because I'm a big fan. So I have a Pusheen stuffed pillow that's name is Chicken. Chicken is the mothership of all my Pusheen kitties. Then I have a keychain named Kiev because Chicken Kiev, it's a dish. And then my real cat's name is Nugget, so there's Chicken Nugget. There's a giant stuffed Pusheen in Little Tokyo that I don't have, but I really want, and I've already named it Parm. And this right here, is and waffles. And is a very important part of the name, chicken and waffles. I found this fun little variety pack of different sticky notes and I really love this because they're all different sizes and they will allow me to put on little notes if I have like a little last minute thing that I wanna add on or just something that I wanna remember later, etc. I have options. All right, so this is my vision for my board. I'm thinking that the white part is gonna be my inspirational side and then the cork side is gonna be my motivational slash to-do side. 
like. I'm a big lister, so I have multiple lists going at the same time, and it just helps keep me up to date on things I want to do, things I have to do that day, etc. So the main lists that I have are a daily to-do list, and then I have a longer-term six-month to-do list. So you know things that I want to achieve over the next six months. I don't like to create a long, daunting list because then I feel like, oh my God, there's no way I'm ever gonna be doing all of these things. I like to keep it short and sweet and really specific. I'll just write like three or four things down and aim to get them done in six months. And normally I achieve them sooner than six months and then I'll just create a new list of goals. Seeing the longer term list is a really good daily reminder for me. So even if I'm not doing that thing on that day, it's just kind of running in the background of my mind like, hey, Hey, remember you want to do that at some point and then the last list that I have is a books I've read this year list because I just want to keep track of all the books that I have read in 2016 so I got these cute little pins look at the pandas oh my god so I'm gonna start pinning my little list onto my board I'm leaving extra space so I have room just in case I want to add in little random notes. Now it's time for the inspiration part. I've already cut out some stuff that I want to add to my board and this is the part of my board that I really plan to change out. That's one of the upsides to this board being so small is that, you know, I really don't have a ton of room to just add stuff that I don't really care about. I'm noticing that I have a lot of beige foods because a beige diet is my dream diet, AKA meaning all carbs. <laughs> I just also have like some cool textures that I found in magazines, some cool colors, just things that popped out to me. And obviously this guy. My spirit animal, everyone. I have little quotes that I've cut out, but I also have this book by Cheryl Strayed called Brave Enough, and it's filled with her quotes and little excerpts from her writing. And I love her writing. I find that it really resonates with me. And this book is actually really special to me because Eileen got this for me as a gift and Cheryl signed it for me. And it's just really special. Every time I open it up, I feel like I wanna cry. <laughs> right now, no exception. <laughs> I really wanted to take what she wrote to me here, which says, stay brave, trust your heart, and put that on my board because I take this book everywhere with me. There isn't a place that I go when I don't have this book. Like I keep it in a paper bag and <laughs> I carry it everywhere with me. When I travel, I always put it in my suitcase. I have it in my tote bag when I'm going out. It's like my most prized possession. And it's just great because it gives me a hug when I feel like I need it. And now, I'm gonna pin everything on. There's no method to my madness here. I'm just sticking them on. So this is my board, and now I'm gonna go hang it up on my fridge. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So that is gonna be it for today. I am so excited about my little board. I can't wait to keep using it. And if you make your own board, I would love to see it. So make sure you send me your photos on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me at Ingrid Nelson. If you do post a photo, make sure you also use this hashtag so I can find it. Cause I'm gonna be stalking your pics and liking them and maybe even leaving some comments. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more videos coming your way very soon. And I want you to know if you do feel unmotivated and you feel discouraged, go online or open a book and just look for some words that make you feel like you are getting a hug. And just know that I'm sending you a virtual hug through the screen. Right here, right now. Oh yeah, I'm coming for it. Here I come.